Hi everyone, and welcome to this week. So I started with a charcoal warm-up. I have to thank Rich. Hi Rich, if you're watching. He has been experimenting with charcoal sticks in his wood burner and thought that when I went to the wood burner last week, or the week before, I was going to get out some charcoal instead of vegetables. And I thought, my God, I forget these This is just a selection of the nuggets of charcoal um, that I get from the wood burner and I love them. They're quite different actually from, usually I have willow sticks and um, it's quite different and I, and I quite like the random nature, uh, the way they feel. So just having a play, just having a warm up, Remembering about charcoal, good on a big piece of paper, I think. So I went in with the water and some watercolour paint. I let that dry off. Yesterday I took this outside and used a fixative to try and make it sit still, which is more or less that's dry, so it's fixed. And then last night, waiting for some rice to cook, I thought, actually, I think I might have a dabble with acrylic now. So I don't really know where I'm going and I'm treating this as a big page of a very big sketchbook, if you like. I'm treating it like a sketchbook page. I don't really know. I'm feeling my way around at the moment. What is in my head, I need some depth and I'm, and I'm liking the yellow more than the orange, or shall I keep the yellow and the orange? So questions. Um, so that's, I'm gonna work a little bit on this this morning and see if I can um, make some progress with it. So that's where we are this week. I've painted a piece of wallpaper just to see
what that might give me. I'm using the brush. I've just realised I haven't put my apron on. <laughs> I haven't put my wheels on lock. I haven't put an apron on. Um, I'm just... Right, stay there. I quite like that shape. This is a lamp black. like that. I'll let those areas dry and I'll wash my hands. I decided to go more with the yellows this afternoon. I'm still undecided on that one remaining orange. <laughs> it might go, but I've been slightly sidetracked by reading some comments coming in about sketchbook. I know these are available at, at the moment. I've just checked. Um, I don't normally have this one with the clip and the paper is normally a little bit thicker so we'll see how we get on but this is a Canson art book 180 degrees and it's 96 GSM so just shy of 100 GSM so the paper the paper's not really really thick but You've probably noticed I don't use heaps of water. I use a lot of paint and other mixed media and my pages more or less cope. I, I mean, I know when I've gone too far and they start to, uh, particularly if I push one against the other and they start to tear, then obviously I know I've gone too far. So that is available at the moment. This week I'm going to get the gesso on and get ready to paint that cover and meantime I'll keep going with my tulips. I came back from a dog walk with Rocket and thought is it warm enough to go in the cabin yet and it is a bit warmer but oh it still feels really gloomy and chilly. Meantime I'm so glad I've got this this easel. I On the wheels I absolutely love it. Morning. I have my yellows so I'm going to do a bit of scotch, scotching, I'm going to do a bit of swatching and I'm going to gesso my front and back new sketchbook covers and I thought how much I like, I like the effect of the back of this, I like this colour and I wondered about using it for collage and then I wondered about actually mixing that colour. So I want to have a go at mixing up that colour. And I'm still that orange tulip is still hanging in there. So I put in a little bit more print, that might go. But remember that you can just throw everything that you like at it and then pair it back down, just leaving the elements that you quite like. So at the moment, I feel like this is too much. And in the back of my mind, it doesn't bother me because I know that I can just wash that away. down my gesso 
and have also picked up, this is a multi-purpose PVA adhesive. I've not put a coat of PVA on before and I'm just wondering about having a go at just spraying on a thin coat before I go in with the gesso. let that dry So a little bit more, and I'm thinking this is a really good opportunity. I don't know whether this needs alteration or whether it's the fact that the white of the paper needs a colour. So a big excitement. Is there a green that might sit in here? I don't think it's calling for a green. No. Okay, so I won't break open a tube of green. I don't think it wants orange. Does it want blue? I've just pulled out yellow ochre. And I'm just going to do that. And then that. to have a quick wash of the floor and I think when you put quite a bit of paint on it don't panic I think the key that I found is not to panic you've got to work quite quickly so I had to go in with the wet cloth and start moving it around oh, you just get a feel for when you can move it not to remove all of it but to get it to to move to get the paints to still move not to remove everything you need to just practice that 
and not panic when it looks a complete mess. <laughs> I think that's what I'm saying. But I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with that for now. What I will do now at this stage, and I've forgotten and I forget every single time, practice what you preach, take photographs. I haven't taken any photographs, so I need to take a photograph. And that in itself will help me to think about where it might go next. And the other top tip, lots of people say this, put your photograph into black and white and it will show you where you need more depth. It will exaggerate light, medium and dark within the composition. The yellows are done. Also, I've got down two coats of gesso and don't ask me how, I've managed to keep that little flappy, it's a magnet. Um, the book will grow too fat for it, but I thought I'll go with it. I've left it unpainted. So we're all ready, ready to go on that. Initially, it will be just free wheeling, just getting lots of colour and pattern and texture down. So I'll start free wheeling and film it for next week because I just want to finish up a little bit more today on here. Well, when I say finish up, I'll just put some more paint down on here. I don't want to say to myself, I've got to get it finished. I've been mixing, I'm mixing a gray here. I suddenly thought I could see a chair. <laughs> a chair is sat in the background. So I've, out, I've put a black outline down. Um, last night in sketchbook, I'll get it. Bear with. I put that down in sketchbook last night. I'll take a photo. So I'm still going strong with the chairs. So that chair in mind, or something like it. I had the idea to put this grey chair in. The chair needs some definition and then I started thinking about rather than having a large chair and small things why can't I have big florals the chair pushed into the background and then I decided I wanted to give the sense of this being on the table and I haven't had a chance to really stand back and get a good look at it, but my gut feeling is that, I, yeah, I quite like it. I'll take a photograph and um, see what I think. I love it when a painting shifts from one place to another. And I sat, sat over there <laughs> having a little look at it last night and thought, oh, chair, and it's, you've just got to go with what, You've just got to give it a try. It might not have worked and I could have scrubbed it back, but something was telling me to keep going. Finishing off, just really enjoying um, finishing up. Just tweaking bits and pieces. It's come quite a long way from that charcoal beginning, but the charcoal beginning is the, is the way in. I really enjoyed that, that, that stage and I didn't know where it was going. I certainly didn't know it was going to end up here. As I say, a few more bits to tweak up, but I can enjoy that and it had its moments. I think it's what it wanted to be. <laughs> I had excess grey paint, which I didn't waste, and I've made a start on sketchbook covers for next week so ending here have a fantastic week get some charcoal going whether it's big or small and have a play let things let things go where they want to go just get, tap into your instinct have a lovely week everyone and oh my god i just remembered we've gone over five thousand 
thank you to all you lovely people who've pushed subscribers to over 5,000. Not in my wildest dreams. I can remember distinctly having five. <laughs> so 5,000 is just amazing. Thank you so much. Have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye for now.